Today we are going to take a radiograph of a mandibular premolar periapical. To prepare the unit, you will need to place a blue napkin on the countertop and set out a Dixie cup. Make sure that you only touch the cup with ungloved hands. Next, cover the exposure switch with a piece of barrier tape. You can find that right under the exposure switch on the countertop. Open the cassette. The items you will need to take the radiograph are a film holder device. The one you will be using today will be the one with the yellow rubber band that sits flat on the table. A blight block. It should be yellow. Cotton rolls rubber and rubber bands. Film, size number two. A ring, yellow. The one we will use today should be slightly offset. A film holding device is usually used to position the film. The device has a bite block for the film and a ring which helps to align the beam. To start, glove up and assemble the XCP unit. The cotton roll is used for stability on the arch opposite the one being radiographed. It is also used for comfort for the patient when biting. They are secured with a rubber band to the bite block. Once assembled, the bite block should be centered on the ring. Place the film in the bite block with the A side down. This helps when determining the orientation of the film after scanning it into the computer for mounting. The X side of the film should be faced away from the ring and the black side toward the ring. A sticky tab may be used to provide stability for the film and to prevent the film from moving. The long axis of the film is horizontal for posterior teeth. Enter the room and place the thyroid collar on your patient. Make sure that the x-ray unit is on and switch the adult or child sending depending on the patient. Switch the control to premolar on the pit arm. After you have adjusted your settings, position the pit close to the patient so you can be ready to take the radiograph. Make sure the headrest supports the head before aligning the pit with the ring to prevent moving while taking the radiograph. Adjust the chair to a comfortable height for the operator. Place the bite block with the cotton roll facing the maxillary arch. Insert with the film parallel to the mandibular arch for patient comfort. The bar should be coming out of the patient's mouth. Place the film between the two premolars and include the distal half of the canine. Make sure to include the crown of the tooth, apex or roots, and surrounding structures. Maintain an equal tooth film distance along the entire length of the film. Instruct the patient to bite down and not move in order to prevent blurring of the radiograph. Don't move. Slide the ring down on the rod until it approximates the skin without touching the patient. Place the pit on the ring on the horizontal outline. When making this radiograph, the following angles are averages used to help position the XEP. A horizontal angle parallel with the contact between the premolars and a vertical angle of positive 5 to negative 5 degrees. There are no contacts that must be open for this radiograph as its primary purpose is to show the tooth and surrounding bone. Step outside the x-ray room. While watching your patient through the glass, press down on the exposure switch until the beeping sound stops. Remove the XCP from the patient's mouth and bring to the counter. film out of the bite block and wipe with a Kleenex. Place the film in the Dixie cup. Remove gloves to transport the Dixie cup to a, the dark room for scanning, mounting, and interpretation. Make sure to clean up your unit when finished.